Alright people, so this is Benger88 and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do some basic stuff on Pivot. So pretty much I have this plane in fast motion so that I, it's pretty long, it's about 16 minutes long recording, so yeah. So first of all what you want to do is that you'll want to open it up in Firefox and go to the link in the description. Don't go to Google. Alright, then you just go and click where I highlighted or highlight to download it and just go ahead and save it wherever you want to. Go and open up Pivot. Go to options and go as 1260 by 700 for a widescreen video. And then what you want to do is that you want to go find some guns with a white background. So go to images, make sure they have a white background just like that one. That works. And you want to go save image as and save it wherever you want. So then what you want to do is that you want to go back into Pivot and go ahead and make your stick man as large as you want him to. I made it pretty large. And then you just go and form him however you want him to be formed. So right now I'm kind of making him so that he's looking sideways. And then you want to go to load sprite and go to your pivot or go to where you have your stuff and I have mine saved right there and I'll go and just speed this up and just go ahead and make it however big you want to make it and I hit it back there to because it's not going to be in the frame so then you want to just go ahead and move him ever so slightly or you have to kind of like figure it out as you go so then what you want to do is that you want to open up your gun and bring him into picture whenever you want it to be into the picture and I had to keep on pressing center because the orange or the place or the circle that you press to move it to it was underneath down over here so and I had to get that back out and that's how you do it instead of deleting it you can just press center so I got pretty fed up with this pretty soon up here and I decided to just move it one big which was a bad idea so it looks really bad right there so then just keep moving it up ever so slightly takes quite a while. I didn't add the muzzle flashes in Pivot because I don't exactly like how it looks in Pivot. So I added some realistic muzzle flashes, like the gun looks realistic. And I added them in Premiere Elements, Adobe Premiere Elements. Anyway, another thing that I got was an ammo case so it kinda looked like it was reloading the gun so that's what I did right here is that I had him put in the ammo case accidentally moved the guy there thank god for the little gray line thing and it's kinda like onion skinning which really helps so this stick man here is reloading a realistic gun with a realistic ammo case with an unrealistic stick man so there we go and he just reloaded it now he's taking his arm back down and I just moved the gun to into proper position and moving his arm into natural position and he's holding the gun and then he just goes ahead and takes a shot and then I roll it back down a little bit and then I take a whole bunch of pictures and then he takes another shot and then I roll, take it back down a little bit and then I give it a whole bunch more pictures put it up 
and go down one last time. I'm sorry if you can't hear me that well. I lost. I left my microphone at home, and I am off somewhere else. And now he is saying goodbye. So yeah, bye. Here's kind of how it looks.